Hello, this is the is Raven and I'm making a video over my time at EGX with Blackhawk. Um, we went down to Birmingham from Scotland and then this was the train we went to the International. I also happened to dye blood claws hair. I'm a hair dye fanatic, so I decided to dye mine too. I like to go all sorts of colours. Hello, it's Sheila Forward today. Here's your show. More than 200 playable games, we've got developer sessions, tournaments, cosplay. No, I'm talking about. We've got Joe Anderson, like. <laughs> I think that guy's got much of a voice left. He's trying to John Anderson, what do you expect? <laughs> I didn't even realise those were slave open Neither did I, I think to go somewhere else.
this game would be a lot better if I could... Two uh, hours from here, for with years. With all that thought, and with that thought in mind, we introduce to you Nazi Lissarit. So oh, no, South Park fan. We're all about bringing yeah. the South Park fractured but whole series to a whole other level. It's about moving those gastrointestinal... So yeah, EGF was really great. I thought it was a really great convention. It was really big. It was loads of room, loads of stalls. There was loads of great merch stalls as well. There was lots. There was like a, I think there was Insert a Coin. I could be wrong. There was T Fury, the ones with the animals. Well, we seen all sorts of stuff. There was Chocobos for the Final Fantasy Fifteen booth. That were funny. There was also the fight zone with things like Street Fighter and like fighting tournaments and there was the retro corner which was really cool, it was a nice touch. It was a big variety. So yeah, and then also, speaking of fighting games, an upcoming fighting game coming out next year I believe, Tekken 7, that was also there. And as you can see there, it was pretty quiet at first, but obviously things were just heating up because it got pretty crowded later on and there was also a PlayStation 4 version of it as well, so in the PlayStation booth. There was all types of booths. It was great. Sony had their own one and there was like a lot of coming games like Gears of War and whatnot. And then other things like indie games and then of course PC games like Dawn of War 3. So the Sega had its own booth, there was Sonic Mania, which I played, I've not got any footage of or anything like that. They didn't want any footage of any of their games like Dawn of War or, or Sonic Mania in particular especially. And Claw here played some Endless Space, so um, he, he pretty much enjoyed that, he's hyped for it. So that's one of the games I'll be featuring on this channel, so check it out and you'll be obviously getting more games as well in the future. But this is one of the ones he's hyped for, he's hyped for a lot this year actually. But yeah, both calls enjoying the game, so I just waited till I finished, and then eventually I played some Sonic Mania, which is right next to the, just right next to that booth. And there was a wee Sonic, there was like a big Sonic statue there too. That was pretty funny. So there was people taking photos of it. I was tempted. <laughs> 